Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back your lovely faces to another video here on the channel. This is only going to be a quick video today guys because I got a few things to do and I just needed to get this story out there because well this is absolutely disgusting. On Twitter Pamster had t tagged me in the following. This is coming from Mel warning this content. Male victim of this being severely done in a cartoon on Netflix. This clip is a mere example of where we as a society stand when it comes to the V against men. It's culturally accepted to be funny. And this is the 24 second clip that we got. He keeps trying to trick us into thinking he's Johnny Depp. Come on home, son. We can beat him with a garden hose as a family. Thanks, but you were right to ask me to leave. I don't need mommy and daddy anymore. I'm a grown man. Ooh, uh, Randall, I think he actually is Johnny Depp. Should we let him go? Hell no, he's still getting the hose. This is for Willy Wonka, and this is for them last three pirate movies. That's not exactly funny. That is absolutely horrid. And to even think that Netflix thought this was funny and they allowed it to go on, it does make you believe that with Netflix, some of the things they've recently done to a lot of things, especially with that French film, you know, what was it, Kids or something like that, or uh, little bodies, can't remember. But you had that one there. You had obviously there's this, and there's a few other shows which they've been brought up with against being inappropriate for certain things. But with this, it's just that in that cartoon, at the end when he says, "Oh, we're not going to let him go because his son's not going to come home and help him." This is for Willy Wonka. This is for the last three Pirates films. Is that meant to be funny? Because it's not. We have seen certain things like this in other cartoons before. One of the most famous ones is Family Guy's um, episode called Quagmire's Quagmire. This is when Quagmire goes to the Apple store, he falls in love with someone, and that someone decides to start doing all these horrible things to him. And even with that episode, that part of the story, that that's, that's the main plot of that episode as well, is absolutely, it's disgusting. I didn't laugh at that then, I'm not laughing at this now, because this is just not funny. But because, as Mel said, because it's men, they no one cares. People find it absolutely hilarious for some unknown reason. But going down in the comments section, we do have that the real Laura B has actually sent a message to Netflix, and this is what Netflix customer service sent back to her. I wish I could do more for you. I do appreciate that you took the time to share your views with us. I know that there's nothing much that I can do to turn things around for you at the moment, but I can certainly take this as feedback. Feedback is reviewed, but cannot guarantee immediate changes, as there are many factors involved in improving the service. To me, that's just a cop-out. That is the only thing that they've done. It's like, oh yeah, we'll just say this. And to be honest with you, it's kind of sad, but I actually do believe that Netflix customer service person because all they can do is log it. It's up to the actual people who make the show. Because even though Netflix are the ones promoting it and putting it on their platform, I really don't think that they watch everything that they acquire. Well, you know, we've seen certain things come out, like I mentioned earlier, that French film, which got everyone up in arms, and it's like, yeah, this shouldn't be done. But Netflix thought it was okay. But then all of a sudden, someone came out and goes, oh yeah, this is bad. You know, it's not right. But here's something else as well that was actually in the thread. Mel posted this as well. The only thing this town loves more than this is this. Seriously. And this is what we got. Anything this town loves more than car fuckers is spousal abuse. <laughs> Why do you think they named the new stadium after Johnny Depp? <laughs> it's absolutely disgusting. And just having that there say, no, we've named a stadium after him as well. That is absolutely horrid. Netflix. What the hell are you doing? You are driving people away. And this is why. Because you're going to, you're pandering towards people who will find this funny. And that will be people like her and people who support her. The ones who love going around thinking that's funny. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And I'll see each and every one of you soon.